Hi guys, it's Brooklyn, and today I wanted to do something different. I know I'm probably not going to get a crap ton of views on this, but I wanted to do a video, um, I guess just talking to you guys, because I don't think I've ever done that. I just kind of do my makeup and leave. <laughs> but, um, just wanted to sit down, talk, speak to the camera, talk about the love of my life. Well, the newfound love of my life as of like two weeks ago, um, Josh Ramsey. So basically, there's this band called... Um, Mariana's Trench basically fell in love with them because I have this friend named Alexis and she was talking about this band that she really, 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 really liked and how she wanted someone to go to the concert with her because she didn't have anyone to go with, like, go with her because going to a concert alone as a female is kind of like terrifying. I don't know. I feel like something bad might happen. Like even at the five seconds of summer concert, I went with my best friend and my mom was like, watch what you're doing. Don't talk to anyone that looks weird or sketchy. So... It's something, you know, that's very taboo, I guess, to go to a concert alone. And so she kept talking to me about it and how much she liked this band. And she was like, if I, if you listen to them and you like them, would you go with me? And I was like, heck yeah, because I love concerts. Like, I freaking, ooh, concerts are my favorite thing in the entire existence. So she handed me her, her phone and she played a song for me, but I was in class and I didn't have headphones in, so I was just kind of listening to it. I don't even know what song it was. I'm assuming it's Haven't Had Enough because that's her favorite song by them, but I'm not for sure. So I put in my headphones when I was leaving that class. I told her, like, yeah, I like that song. It's what I could hear of it sounded nice. And I went to their Spotify page and started listening to their, you know, station, which, you know, you don't get, like... I don't know, you have to shuffle listen to their songs so you can't pick what you want to listen to. So that's why I did it because I was like, I can get a good range. And the very first song that played on the shuffle was Haven't Had Enough. And I started screenshotting songs as they played because um, I think B-Team played and Pop 101 and Yesterday. And I sent them all to her and I was like, just a few of my favorites so far. And then basically that right there extended from these four songs are nice to me falling in love with the Ever After album like, the album is ace and freaking being in love with this a story is aesthetic. Like the whole idea of the Goonies and the Goonies never die and Josh, you know, the two years of his life where he was down and up. Brilliant. I love a story is so much. Ever after such a brilliant album. I love the way that it's done. How ever after the first song is like every song put together in one and uh, is End of an Era at the end of that one? End of an Era is like the closing point for that. I don't know if that makes any sense. It makes sense in my head. If end of an era isn't at the end of that one, and end of the, the an era is at the end of Astoria, I'm sorry. I don't know which one ends with that one and which one ends with No Place Like Home. I think No Place Like Home is on Astoria though. As I'm editing this, I just realized that I was wrong. It's the other way around. The ever after ends with No Place Like Home and Astoria ends with end of an era. I'm stupid. But Basically, that band has taken over my life. You guys know how much I love Five Seconds of Summer and how much I love One Direction. They're two of my favorite bands. And Mariana's Trench has, like, moved itself right up there with them. And um, 21 Pilots and Fifth Harmony and Neck Deep. Like, this band in the span of, like, two weeks has bumped itself up there because it's that good. And it's, like, a little, I guess they call themselves emo pop. I don't know what that is. It's very punk, punk pop, you know? Where it's got the little edgy feel to it, but it's still very pop. Because Josh Ramsey, the lead singer of Mariana's Trench, he wrote Call Me Maybe for Carly Rae Jepsen, and that basically blew up. And um, Mariana's Trench is a Canadian-based band. That's why he wrote for Carly Rae Jepsen. She's from Canada. And um, they haven't really done an American tour yet, but I have tickets to go see them on their American tour when they come. Because they're coming to North Carolina, which no one ever comes to, so I'm so hype. But Josh Ramsey is like the literal love of my life. I've been watching behind the scenes videos and interviews of the band and how he had like anorexia and bulimia and he self-harmed and he was depressed and he had a drug addiction and now he's like gotten over that and he has such a great support and a great band and great fans to hold him down. Like, oh, that's so amazing. And then I also found out that Josh Ramsey wrote with Luke Hemmings lead singer five seconds of summer and he helped write the story of us which i think that's what it's called or the end of story of us the last song on the target exclusive album is co-written by josh ramsey and luke kimmings and there's a picture of them i'll insert it here 
that they took when they were writing together and that's so cute that my two favorite bands know each other i love when my bands know each other like when michael clifford hung out with freaking josh dunn the other night too much for me to handle i love bands so much i am band trash my hand right here says josh ramsey trash number one because that's me and this girl told me about them and didn't think that i would like them and now i'm like hooked and like i'm i can't i listen to their music all the time which is really i took a break from listening to sounds good feels good to listen to them <laughs> when maiden am came out I listened to that for a good like four or five days straight and then now I'm just kind of like I threw it all in a playlist with Sounds Good Feels Good, um, all the Mar Mariana Trench songs that I like made in the AM and some stuff from Purpose like all together in a playlist and oh my god it's life changing. And I Know What You Did Last Summer by Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. But um, if you guys ever want like music suggestions hit me up I have a Spotify playlist called songs that are always stuck in my head and it switches out like frequently with songs that I listen to more and more as I get tired of songs you know songs leave and then there's like a few other playlists that I have saved and like if you ever if you ever want music suggestions suggestions hit me up I don't know if you guys enjoy these kind of videos of me just sitting here I talk really really fast when I'm excited about things so I don't know if you could understand any of this and if you could understand any of it let me know in the comments below and if you couldn't please complain to me in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos from me, let me know what you want to see down below because I would be glad to supply them. I would like to do some Christmas videos this year. That'd be nice. Quite like Christmas. I'm wearing a Christmas shirt today and it's not even, it's Michael Clifford's birthday today. Shout out to my baby, the real deal love of my life, the angel that sets the world it all in place. My son, my father, the father of my children. My baby, Michael Gordon Clifford, is 20, and it's too much for me to handle because I am only almost 17. I'll be 17 next month. Stop being problematic. Give this video, <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me because I would love to do more videos. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because that would mean the world to me. It does me a great big favor. Stop it. Also, be sure to let me know what you want to see next. I'll have all my links down below if you'd like to talk to me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! I'm so obnoxious. <laughs>